Hey guys, here to do a movie a movie review on Remember Me. Uh, I didn't buy any movies this week, and I went to well, I get, it would it would have been Friday. I bought something else. I bought this, and uh, I went to my grandpa's house today, and he had bought four or five movies at a yard sale that, from somebody that he knew. And this was one of them that he had bought. And he he's like the kind of guy where, I mean, he, he just, I think he just either bought these, you know, to maybe to help her or something. I mean, I definitely know, I mean, he doesn't know who Robert Pattinson is or anything. And I had heard of this movie before. I remember when it came out. I remembered it kind of being a big deal when it came out because I think of, I think it was because of Pierce Brosnan. But I looked it up on IMDb. It looked good, and so I said if I could borrow it, and he said I could keep it. So I took it home and I watched it. This is an amazing, an amazing, amazing movie. Uh, the movie is about we have Robert Pattinson and Emily De Raven, De Riven. Uh, the characters in the movie it's Tyler and Allie. Tyler and Allie. Both of these, these two people, both of them lost somebody tragically from their past. For Allie, her mother was murdered in front of her. And then for Tyler, he had lost a brother to suicide. And then both of them have dads that are kind of, uh, not, they're not normal dads. Allie's dad is a cop who doesn't really understand her that well. And then Tyler's dad is Pierce Brosnan, who doesn't really show any compassion or love, doesn't really seem to care about anything. Tyler has a little sister who is basically the only thing that Tyler cares about throughout the entire movie. Well then Tyler ends up, Tyler smokes and drinks and he doesn't really have a good life. And then Tyler ends up getting arrested by this guy, this cop, who... Tyler was, like, trying to break up a fight, and this cop broke it up, and then Tyler badmouthed the cop. So the cop punched him in the face a few times, and Tyler's roommate knew the cop's daughter. So I guess the roommate thought that this would be kind of funny if Tyler would basically get to know the daughter, fuck her, as kind of like a revenge thing towards the cop. Well, Tyler and Allie end up falling in love. And Tyler didn't mean to fall in love. You know, he just wanted to do it to get back at the cop at the very beginning. But they end up falling in love. And the movie takes place in 2001 in New York. And the movie is just basically about Tyler trying to reconnect to his dad and Tyler's sister. Tyler's sister is played by this really cute little girl. I don't know her name. I don't remember her name. But, uh, it was just, it's just a very, it's a tragic story. It's as funny, it's sad, you know, it's, it's romantic. And Robert Pattinson is really good at playing characters that are very tragic. You know, like this movie... Water for Elephants, Twilight. Um, I think those. I think this movie and Water for Elements. Water for Elements. Water for Elephants are the only two movies I had seen him in that wasn't Twilight. Robert Pattinson is an extremely good actor. I just think because of Twilight, that might hurt his career. You know, because people. He can't help but thinking of Edward. And I'm really glad that Robert Pattinson did a movie like this. This movie came out, I believe, either during or after Eclipse. It came out in 2010. And, uh, just very good movie. Pierce Brosnan, of course, played James Bond four times. Pierce Brosnan's a really good actor as well. Um, the only non-Bond thing I had seen him in before this was, uh, Back of Bones. And he was good in that. I thought he was pretty good in that. There's another famous movie that he's in called, uh... Oh, fuck. I can't remember it. But, uh... Rene Rousseau's in it. Damn it. I can't remember the name. 
And then he's also famous for being in Remington Steel. But it's just a great movie. I can't recommend it more. If you're if you're into kind of like the tragic love stories, uh, this is the movie for you. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, the ending to this movie will totally take you by surprise. Uh, there, there was one thing that I kind of predicted in the movie. And it's the cliche where the, the woman finds out the truth behind why the why Robert Pattinson got to be with her. She gets pissed off, breaks up with him, then they get back together. I predicted that. But the ending, I did not predict. I was literally yelling, oh my fucking god, you know, when I saw the ending. But, just, if you see this movie, check it out. You know, it's been out for three years now. It, it's probably dirt cheap now. Very, very underrated if, you, if you've never seen it. It had a 7.1 rating out of 10 on IMDb. And uh, it's just, it's a very good movie. It's one of those movies that I think, it'll just, it'll, it's like it made me laugh. It made me feel, it made me feel happy. But then it made me feel pissed off at the ending because it took me by surprise and I didn't want it to happen. And then, you know, I just, I love this movie. I, there, I don't watch a lot of love stories, but this was very, very good. I hope Robert Pattinson does more non-Twilight. Well, obviously Twilight's over. But I hope he does more really good movies like this. Um, if you're a Robert Pattinson fan and you've never seen this, shame on you. Really good. Uh, can't recommend it anymore. Uh, remember me. Terrific movie. Highly recommend it, but this is my review, and I'll see you guys later.